guys, and welcome back to the horrific and unforgiving world of Pulse for Nem, where recently we've been working on this, the rebuild fund. And if I press F5 the right number of times, we can see exactly what is going on here. This is for the most epic of quests that we have in our book. This one, we need like 500 protein, 1,000 bricks, 1,000 br stone bricks, some sand, gravel, oak wood, oak wood planks. And we've set up a lot of um, automatic machinery for a lot of this stuff here. The one we haven't automated is protein, but as you can see, it's just kind of ticking over so fast that that's okay. Up here, I've done a little bit of a shuffling around. Do you remember this rotary condensator thing? I hope I got that right. It used to live here, but I've moved it up here. One, so that we can put the metallurgic infuser back in its rightful place. But two, so that we can drain some water. You see the reservoir back there? It drains into this tank, which immediately gets turned into water vapor, which via the magic of the gas conduit, this bit took me so long to figure out. I was in a creative world putting stuff around in other ways. All you had to do was use the gas conduit. But by the magic of the gas conduit, emptying out all its water vapour into here. And as long as I keep this topped up with dirt, we can then keep shuffling stuff over. Brilliant. Now, we're not actually after... Uh, clay we're after bricks which means we need a quarter so as soon as we get to 250 which uh, is going to take a while but shouldn't take too long we can then break them down throw them in the like big cooking devices we have just all over the place hello my capacitor is empty oh well obviously not making enough power uh, but yeah we can pop them in cook them up and then have all the bricks so that's all going to be kicking over in the background. And I think what we're going to do in the meantime, if we come out here, you can see that we've done the basic quest. That is the basic tech. Sorry, that is complete. Now, the life rebooted. We've only got a few things to do here. So I think what I might be doing is getting on this high tech housing. Now, this is the industrial apiary and it shouldn't take too much to do, um, especially as like a lot of it involves bronze. And if we come over here, you see that I've got a lot of bronze. In fact, what I'm going to do is just quickly pow, make that sturdy casing. Let's see what else can be made quickly. Now, I've noticed that the uh, bronze gear is just a bit of iron and some bronze so i've got two bits of iron that was really convenient actually I, I was using that for all sorts of stuff earlier and i just happened to have left myself the correct amount uh the thing that's not so useful is i needed one more bit of iron for a piston all right very nearly there we're gonna leave the iron in my inventory just for now uh does it have to be stained glass can it be quite clear glass that is the glass i've been making but no bother for now we need a glass pane a load of bronze some redstone and a gold pressure plate okay i'm not sure if this is correct it's the glass that i'm most worried about okay let's try and sort this out into normal glass now i can do that by doing this amazing i'm so glad i figured that out um, it was a complete accident when I did it, obviously. Complete accident, but it works now, so that's all good. Ah, uh, what is wrong now? Still going strong with the original chisel. I cannot believe how long that has been lasting. Landstrider was like, ha, ah, don't waste your iron. Make a... Oh, man, what have I done? Make an obsidian one. And I was like, yep, cool. Next time I do that, I will. But look at that. Still going. That's still no idea what's going on here. Every now and then, it takes a moment to step back and realise that I've munged up two uh, recipes in my head and needed the bronze, not the not the glass. I, I don't know what's wrong with me sometimes, I really don't. But this now means that there is glass in my inventory to be able to do that. All right, that is immediately straight off with a nice quest here. Brilliant. Now, what are we going to take? Maybe the modest hive? Uh, that Yeah, let's take the modest hive because we've not had anything from that. What is it going to give me? A power module? No idea what that power module is. Now, this means that we can move on to this mutagen producer here. And that's, that's going to be pretty cool. I've not even looked at this, so give me one second. Okay, so we see where we need the power module. We're going to have to make another one of those. Shouldn't be too difficult, though it is a lot of stuff there. Uh, the mutagen tank, it's just tin, so that should be okay. And bronze gears and a hopper. Yeah, I see nothing problem problematic here. Okay, so we got all the major bits there. Now we need to make this power module, and that's going to take not too many things, but the thing that we have to do straight away is make this power m management device. Uh, that's two capacitors and a microchip, four redstone and some gold nuggets all in the fabricator. Now I've got the capacitor and the microchip. Everything else should be relatively easy to get a hold of. 
Man, I'll tell you now, I already miss my staff of traveling, but I think this time what we might do is upgrade the weapon here. Once we've got the vibrant crystal on there, one of the next things I can do is actually upgrade it to make this the traveling rod, which would be super nice. Now, in here, we need to clear all this out and make ourselves a new recipe. Okay, that's one of those. That should give us both that we need to make this. Oh, yes, Mutagen Producer has been made. All right, let's check out this quest. What are we going to get? Well, I'm feeling the Mutagen cells because everything else we can pick up relatively easily. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to have to go through and figure out what all this is about. However, uh, with enough Mutagen, you can devolve species evolve bees into species that were around before the holocaust Ooh, ooh, ooh. you will need to select this task and use the book yeah okay but we just want to hand in some rocky princess and a load of mutagen wow and that will give us oh i don't know which one we'd want out of those hmm well what do you know guys dealing with radioactive materials is even more hazardous than i thought it was look i just left these here and they've already nuked me all i did was come along and go oh i want to put some stuff in here open the ui didn't even get to see this and this this had decayed into californium and and killed me like what guys like what um well i suppose we'll just have to put up with it can we put that in with that oh no no, no, it doesn't like that. Okay, well, at some point we're going to have to do some sort of pipe extraction to get all of these out of here without killing me. But I think the next thing we need to do is go build a radioactive graveyard. There's at least two graves here, one unmarked and one will have this headstone. Today we congregate in a new section of the graveyard, honouring those that have reached forth into the void of the unknown to bring us scientific knowledge. Two clones that paid the ultimate sacrifice, well, one one paid the ultimate sacrifice, and the other one just died, to bring us knowledge that we will know never to open any crates containing radioactive materials ever again. We will take the traditional moment silence to cover up the grave, this time done in gravel to represent the lack of life that will live for here due to the radioactive decay, and we'll look forth and take a moment. Wonderful, wonderful. Poor chaps. Alright guys, I think it's time for semi-experimental, I know it's going to kill me at some point time. You'll see that we've got all these uraniums here and all these uraniums up there. Well, I need some of them. Uh, pressure uh, item conduit, great. Uh, I need some of them because they're needed for the mutagen producer. Now, I'm fairly sure these ones will not have decayed yet. Um... They're, they're relatively fresh. They're, they should be still uranium. They should still be uranium. So if we set this to insert, we set these to extract without the signal, and then we just wait for these to empty out. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not feeling 100% great about this. I've got a feeling at some point, but ooh. Where did that come from? Um... Okay, we're safe-ish. Okay, I'm going to take all this uranium out of here, and we're going to go and try and turn it into uranium ingots, because that's what we need to go put in the machine, the mutagen producer. So let's do that. There we go. We've got uranium or eulorium or whichever one it says we're going to have here. Uh, lots of clicking does that. Now, the next thing is these are super, super old. So what I want to know is can I pipe them all the way over here? We might need to use the chest as a staging post, but I'm hoping we can kind of quantum it up. If we don't look at it, maybe it won't uh, become the item that we're fearing. Maybe it won't decay. Uh, maybe it will. Who knows? I am not an expert at this stuff. Uh, all I know is when I tried this in a creative world, this box here well and truly exploded on me. Oh, that is one thing we cannot do when we come back is open it like that. Do we have enough enough conduits to go over? I hope so. I hope so. Let's break these last two and maybe that will be it. I've not measured this, so I'm hoping it's good. Okay, all right, that's fine. Now, I do not want to look inside that box. Of all things, I do not want to look inside that box. And the same with this box here. Well, don't don't click on it. We want to set this to insert. Okay. Um, now, we're going to wait for that to pull it all out, hopefully. Yes, it is doing it exactly as well. It's so, just hang a moment, and I will move these pipes to the other side. 
Okay, so radiation-induced death ooh, still has not occurred. I was a little bit worried then because I clicked and saw inside the UI. But I think we're all okay so far. All right, shift, click, shift, and click. Whew, okay, so this is on extract. This is going to be on insert up here. We'll swap that over. And then this one we want to just turn off because obviously we do not want it to be going in there. Uh, try again without the thing, without the signal. Now, is it pumping it in? I don't know how to find out. Oh, I don't, I don't want to look. I don't want to look. That is the last thing I want to do. Uh, so everything appears like it should be. It's extracting everything without prejudice. Uh, maybe what we want to do is break that and pop it into the side here. Um, for no reason other than I don't see anything spinning around and doing stuff. Is this doing stuff here? I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's try it again, though. Uh, insert like that. Let's see if that does any better. Okay, we're going to have to do it. Um, is there a chest I can put all my stuff in? I would like to do that. Let's quickly make a chest. Uh, we are going to have to make some big hearts once this is done. All right, I'm going to start with this chest. It's empty. All right, that's good. Then we're going to look over here. All right, doing okay, doing okay. Uh, nothing killed me. I'm in favor of this. These have not decayed down yet. That's good. There's some actinium or whatever. So putting them in here appears to have reset their timers. No, no, it hasn't. But I know this one should have actually uh, radiated down because, yeah, it, it really was like... That's old. That's well, well, well old. Oh, well, we've got some uh, uranium here. That's the, that's the main part. Oh, it's yellow orium in this... Uh, dimensional set. Let's try and get all this stuff back. We're going to leave all that stuff behind me for now. Don't worry, I will make it look good in a second. But we needed this for a specific thing. Hopefully it's not night time. It is not night time. Okay, let's keep running all the way over here. Because obviously we need the mutagen. And we need a lot of the mutagen. And we're going to come over here to do so. I haven't quite wired this up yet. That's kind of going to be my next thing to do is get some industrial apries on the go. Uh, I will show you some other things that are going on out there. But here we go. Let's drop that in there. Okay, I click to see recipes. I mean, the, the recipe limit is quite limited. So, you know, this is the things we've got to use here. Uh, whilst that is ticking over, I'm going to have a quick chat about what we got going. Not in there, because this is all finished. Well, it's not all finished, but it's finished for a moment. I got myself some noble bees, which is great. This is uh, one of the steps on to making majestic bees and then imperial bees. Maj imperial bees are from noble and majestic being bread. And then the majestic is from the noble and the cultivated being bread. I can't remember exactly which one. But this means I need to go looking for a new queen. When this one pops, it'll give us two drones. And then I'm going to pop a rocky queen in here and then just keep filling her with the noble drones until she's like oh actually i'm a noble queen uh and then i'm going to start mixing her with whichever one it is for majestic let's cultivate it was cultivated see the noble and the cultivate give us the majestic and if i look at the uses of that we can see in here that the noble and the majestic will give us the imperial and the whole reason for doing that is this royal jelly that's the whole the whole point it's part of a quest i need to get it Okay, so this new queen I was looking for, I happen to remember that whilst we were poking around down here, I should have brought a chisel with me. Oh, right, whilst we were poking around down here, you see that? Almost immediately some sort of bug stung, stung me. So I'm going to go down in like so, and hopefully somewhere around here we will find a rocky uh, hive. I'm going to take out the limestone first because I've very rarely seen this pop of silverfish. Ugh, well, like... I suppose a valiant princess is good, but I was really looking for a rocky one. Oh, man. I need need some, like, low-level bees now. There's always another one somewhere. Hopefully this will give us what we're after. Oh, yeah. Rockies. Okay, that's good. Um, right, let's get up and out of here. I can show you what I'm doing, hopefully, as long as there are enough nobles on the go i mean at the moment i only need the one there are none okay well let's go and have a look at what the mutagen producer has thrown out obviously it should have produced something by now hey look five thousand uh, wasn't that what we wanted isn't that exactly what we wanted let's have a look in no the quest book here as much as it pains me to do this i'm going to put down the qds here i think we can select the task like that and shift click is it or just click it is just click and then i've broken the fluid conduits from over there we can hopefully put it down not like that we're going to lose a little bit there that is not what i needed in the slightest but hopefully that's going in that way and then if we pop the hopper up on top and put the two queens in like that 
Oh, is this not working? What? Uh... Well, it looked to me like it was done. I wonder why not. Oh, it says I've accomplished it already. Okay, cool. It must have happened so quick that I did not notice. Now, what are we going to get? Forest, meadows, tropical, or marshy? I actually don't know. We're going we're gonna to leave that. I know it's a repeatable quest, and we can get all of them if we so choose. i going to break that so we can keep uh, storing up the mutagen. Uh, but we're not going to do so at the moment. Oh, no, no, no. Let's have a look at what we need to do here. Okay, you will need to select this tuck. If you want to get the species that was common in the desert, you're going to need to add some heat. Okay, we can do that. And over this side, we're going to have to add some ice. Two things that I'm fairly sure we should be able to manage by the end of today. All right, guys, so I think it's time to wrap up these uh, two little quests here. The first one we're going to do is not the ice one. We're going to do the hot topic. We're going to select this quest, and we are going to click on down it. Okay, brilliant. So the first thing that needs to happen with those is, of course, a rocky princess and a single rocky drone. Let's separate that out. Wonderful. Uh, I then also have a portable tank that I've been using here. So if we click that like that, uh, that should be on dispense let's get down under here and change this okay and that is a bucket's worth uh, going in there it doesn't appear to be set to uh, insert so let's do that there we go that's draining away that had me a little bit worried there I'd also like to try and pull out two buckets of mutagen that I can also pop in here and that should be our entire quest there if we just give it a second for these to filter through through uh come back and that what's that one done all right brilliant the next one of course is to change the quest to the frozen one so we're going to select that task we're going to right click we have bound that uh hopefully there is a second bucket being made here it's not quite there yet that's okay we will add some more power here and hopefully get this turning over quicker uh, but I also want to throw in the ice the rocky queen uh, drone and rocky queen okay that's going well and one bucket we will be back for the second bucket of mutagen but I also want to show you what I've been doing over here as I've been threatening to do for a long time so I found this spare rocky princess and I've also got a spare noble drone. I think you guys can see what is going here. We're going to pop the rocky princess in the apiary and the noble drone also in the apiary. And then as time goes on, I'm just going to carry on filtering the odd extra bee that, uh, drone that comes out of here and pop it with this guy until we can make this one another noble drone. All right, I just want to get this, this last bit done here. So I will call you back when that is ready. Okay, just to give you a quick update on the rebuild fund before we get down to the final bit of the bee work. We are finished on this side. We've got over 500 gravel and sand, which is what we're aiming for, over 500 planks and over a thousand oak logs. We are waiting on the protein. Need another 100 or so, 170 odd, 180 odd. Uh, and over here we need another oh, 70 clay blocks. Uh, all good on the stone bricks. Let's have a look over here. This is, of course, being powered away, but is one of my massive power drains. We're going to have to just wait for that to be done. Boom, another extra thousand mutagen. Let's just quickly throw that in there like that. Watch this all pile through. Okay, in the quest book, we should see that we are oh, almost complete we have these two missions to do this exotic which means we have to mix a nether star some end stone a rocky princess and some mutagen we get a load of really nice stuff though uh, and then of course there is the quest for the royal jelly but with that ladies and gentlemen i have run out of time for today's episode i will see you next time when we're going to go all the things for the royal jelly and probably get on with a bit more of the power systems we could definitely use a reactor on the go get some eulorium being worked properly i think we'll also have to do some way of combining elements but that is all in the future bye